In this video, we'll learn how to use compound paths in Illustrator. Compound paths let us use one vector shape to cut a hole in another vector shape. So they allow us to create negative space inside of closed vector shapes in Illustrator. To practice with compound paths, I've got the exercise file compoundpathdemo.ai open from this week's demo files. And I've been working on my beach scene here. I've added this little inner tube in the background. I'll go ahead and zoom in on that. And everybody knows inner tubes have holes in the middle. And right now I have a shape that is more or less hole shaped, but I can see it's not actually negative space inside of the larger inner tube shape. It's just sort of an oblong shape sitting on top. Now in a case like this, you might think it would work just to take that inner shape and match the color that's behind it. So one way I could do that is with the eyedropper tool. But I can see I'm not actually showing through what's behind this inner tube shape. And I can illustrate that a bit more clearly if we take a look in the layers panel at this tube layer, which has both of those paths inside of it. I'll go ahead and command click or control click on the visibility icon for that layer. This switches the layer into outline view mode where we're looking at just the vector shapes and none of the styles. So we've turned off all the fills, strokes, or effects that are applied to that layer. That lets me see that I have this coastline shape traveling right behind my inner tube shape. So if this inner hole were actually negative space, it would be showing through both of those shapes. And of course, I could try to redraw the two shapes to try to match exactly what's in the background, but that's extra work and it would make it harder if I decided to move the inner tube somewhere else in the composition. So remember, anytime I'd be drawing something I've already drawn, or anytime I'd be unable to easily change a shape if I needed to, that's often a clue that there's an easier way to do things. So I'll command click or control click again on the visibility icon for that layer. And let's work on changing these two shapes into a compound path to actually create negative space. So I'll go ahead and use my direct selection tool to shift select both of those shapes. And anytime I wanna make a compound path, I'll need to have two or more overlapping closed vector shapes selected. So these two will work just fine. Then I'll click object in the menu bar and under compound path, click make. So I can see now this inner shape has been cut out of the larger outer shape to form actual negative space. That means I can take this whole compound path, move it around and no matter where I place it, it's gonna show through exactly what's in the background. So this makes composing my image much more flexible. Notice in the layers panel that after making the compound path, those two shapes have been condensed into one. And unlike a group or a clipping mask, I can't expand here, so I don't get direct access to both of those shapes anymore. But I still could make edits, and one way to do that is using the direct selection tool. So I'll go ahead and click on that for my toolbar. And you can see I can still easily make edits to that interior shape, just like any other vector shape, while it remains negative space being carved out of my exterior shape. If I'd like to separate my compound path back into its component parts, I just need to select it. So I could do that either with the direct selection tool or just going to my layers panel and clicking the target next to my compound path. Then I'll click on object in the menu bar and under compound path, click release. And now we've separated the compound path back into two individual shapes, which I can see in the layers panel. Okay, that's an overview of how to use compound paths in Illustrator.